Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just showing it off, talking away. Shit. What's up, internets? This was taken from one of our live streams, the Antique Roadshow 2.0. If you're liking the vibe of the variety content, switching it up, the eclectic nature, subscribe to this channel and also head over there, head over to the Bezos one because it's always going to be different. If you like some variety, tap in, bro, bro. Tap in, dog. Tap in, fam. Back to it. Back to it. Here you go. Pass Bailey. I recently ordered this Tascam T90BM and I'm very interested to see how it works for miking my room that I stream in and do all of my other creative work. I ordered this camera, this camera, this <laughs> this microphone because I stream on Mondays a podcast, Fridays we do video games, and Tuesdays I do these sessions where I work on different projects as well as list to my eBay store, document products, and share some stories with y'all. I was very interested in setting things up so that I could have my room dynamically mic'd and I wouldn't have to be worried so much about my positioning. Say, as I'm recording this, I have to make sure that I have very good mic etiquette. I would like to be able to create a system so that I could have the homies over, whoever, and they don't have to be worried so much about how to communicate in a way that's heard on stream. Now, while I was searching online, I did find that there was absolutely no reviews or unboxings of this item. So, welcome to the the YouTube clip I'm making now Raza also I'm getting all the info I am very interested to see because uh, it would be helpful to get some studio tips and whatnot now back to character I was kind of impressed I, the thing is skinnier than I thought the images make it perceive as if it's about double the size so I was quite surprised by the shape of it I do like the attentive packaging it's got this little fragile thing, but if you put the fragile under the handle, who's no one moving this is going to see that. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. So let's see if I can not rip it. Probably will rip it. There we go. Open this boy up. So, so far, it does seem engaging. So it's got a sticker package. It's clearly set up for a professional audio person, which I do enjoy. This is why I wanted to work with Tascam and I selected Tascam as the microphone I would test out for this product. Um, stickers peeling a little bit, but that's too picky. The build quality of the case seems like it would last a while. Let's take these gloves off. Ooh, it's a, it's a nice smooth texture actually. I'm impressed by it that's something that would be I would definitely want to keep this in my kit on a consistent basis if I had to travel with it which I would presume since this is a conference microphone would be its most common application you want to move it into a conference room or say a meeting room for people who are not computer or microphone savvy Ooh, that was pretty I actually don't mind that Same old manual. Looks like there's actually a lot, a decent amount. Oh, it's just all the different languages. Product registration, da da da. Oh, it just gives you all the nerdy audio file stuff as well as the frequency response graph. It's quite handy. If you care about that, it's good that that's in there. I think it's still something to be said about having physical media. You can see it's a bit dilapidated, but well, it is what it is. That's a little picky. Oh, it's the mini XLR. I've only had one other cable ever that uses this mini XLR. I thought I got scammed. Interesting. Professional low noise microphone cable. Wonder if this is made by Rode or anyone specific. And it is much smaller than I thought. Surprised by this. Nice sturdy metal build though. I do like it. It's got its little shafts on both sides for omnidirectional. 
I think they're also heat vents, so you have to be careful not to block them. It's got three different settings. Low cut, flat, boost. I don't know when you'd need to use boost. I guess in a very echoey room. And it's got that micro XLR three pin cable. So I guess it's a good thing that I had that spare from all those years ago. I'm very intrigued to see how this functions. Oh, see the thing about having the mini three pin, you have to know what you're doing because I could very easily squish these. I didn't understand how to line up the male and the female. Hmm. I approve. I like the packaging. I like the looks. I like how dense it is, but small. This could very easily fit on the desk in front of people and not be obtrusive. And it looks like with the ventilations on it, it will get a nice wide range of omnidirectional capture. Emphasizes lower frequencies. So Tascam is a, usually a very trustworthy company. So when I was looking this up, I figured it, even if it's an obscure product, I would like to go with a trustworthy company because I could either resell it or find another application. I've made my living finding all of my gear through doing that. So, all right, I'm interested to test this out. I'll have to do another follow-up video on that one. And actually I do have one other boundary microphone I will be testing. So if you're just watching this clip, this uh, VOD, be sure to go check out the other one. I got a Behringer boundary mic. So a sure, I got a sure boundary mic. So I'm very curious to see how that sounds in contrast. Oh, you thought that video was done? You know how I mentioned the Shure, Shure CVB slash BO. Here, head over, link, link is in the description of this video. You can watch that one right now.